Welcome to the final conference of Young Service Designer. Today it's a very important day. This day has a twofold purpose. Uh, the first one is to show the YSD main achievements and results, and the second purpose is to talk with the keynote speaker coming from uh, international uh, European organization dealing with youth um, about how to boost the local decision making process. Uh, in uh, Italy and uh, mostly in Europe. Empowerment is interesting because it's a combination of a few different dimensions, right? There's um, the extent to which young people have the uh, capabilities, the capacities, the competencies that they need in order to engage in this type of work. And so young people are learning skills for substantive engagement with their communities, with public officials, uh, with the problems that they're working on. So to the extent that empowerment is, a, again, sort of a, uh, an amalgamation of these few dimensions, of these few considerations, young people are leaving this project uh, tremendously empowered. And that's incredibly meaningful. Project Young Service Designer, it was a great opportunity to find a way how the municipality and how the young can work together, how they can find some solutions for the problems that can young identified and work together with municipalities to solving the problems and also how to find some possibilities for young participation. The island of Salamina is not in the center of Athens and decision-making process. So this ability to, to offer the local society the, the opportunity to explore um, new ideas, new services, young people to be more empowered and for sure connected with the other um, international peers was a unique and amazing experience. And the service, the festival that was designed by our YSDs, um, is about to be um, an institutionalized uh, activity uh, for the municipality on the island of Salamina. Uh, the YSD project is a project that uh, gives young people the opportunity to uh, take part in the uh, decisional um, process uh, of uh, making services for uh, young people in their cities and to be heard by their cities. Um, through uh, different sort of, of activities, uh, young people have the um, possibility to uh, create these services for uh, their peers. So I will describe the project as opening new opportunities in three words. And I'm pretty new, so I'm really looking forward to new things. This project has given the opportunity to many kids di mettersi in contatto con la pubblica amministrazione per diventare degli attori protagonisti, per diventare una parte importante nei tessuti territoriali ai quali appartengono, per la realizzazione di progetti che portano beneficio a tutta la collettività. E la contaminazione con anche altri paesi europei non fa altro che dare ancora più valore a un progetto del genere che ha assolutamente la necessità di essere replicato. The YST project was an unforgettable experience, an opportunity to help and a challenge. Uh, the YST project for me is interesting, fun and comfortable. The YSD project is a, such a great opportunity for youngsters to create something in their city. Young service designers in Poland. It was an amazing adventure and very fruitful time for our 20 young people who was involved in capacity building program. And also they are prepared uh, two public innovation lab ideas, which is an answer of the needs of the youth in Lublin. In terms of hopes for the future, uh, two things. One, you know, we'd love to see the work that young people are doing uh, now with their communities be sustained, right? They've built services, uh, they've created new, um, in some cases they've influenced policy, 
So we want to see them working with municipalities, and we want to see municipalities and local government responsive to what young people have created and kind of setting a sustainable trajectory for that work. But perhaps the bigger thing is the opportunity for scale. This is a methodology that works in many different places, many different contexts, geographies. And so we'd love to see more and more partners across the continent, across the EU, adopting the model.